All right, so we're gonna make up our cables here. We got our stainless steel wire rope. Um, these will actually mount into my light rack and they'll give me the ability to adjust slack in the cable. So basically I gotta attach this cable here and we've got, we've got these little crimp deals here. Um, I don't know what the hell you call them, but whatever they are. Um, we'll run that through there. Loop this to that like so. And then it goes back into there. And we've got these little caps someplace around here. really don't need these oh yeah and to some of you this might look like a bolt cutter but if you notice it's actually a little crimper put our little brass end in there like so actually go into the next one over there what I'm gonna do is put the little end of that wire into the hole it'll keep that wire from fraying and see as it's done is it's crimped that wire on there and we're gonna next thing we gotta do is take up the slack there and crimp this thing. Snug. One more spot for good luck. All good. Nice solid connection. Now we get to make six of these cables. Let's see, make sure that that is. Not the end of this one. Okay, good. All right. And welcome back to part four of LA Fish Guys, episode 99. We're doing a retrofit on an LED lighting system above a big 500 gallon aquarium. We've removed a wooden light rack that held two 400 watt metal halides from this aquarium system in the previous parts. We're now in the process of replacing the pulley and the cable system that will lift the new aluminum rack that holds the LED lights. All right, so we got all of our cables done. The next thing is to go string them up in there and uh, then we'll move on to disassembling the light rack and of course, reassembling it. We're making good progress. So here comes the fun part. We've not only got four existing cables to replace, but we've also got two new cables we want to add into the system. And then we need to bring all six of them together in that closet area so they can attach to the winch. And this winch will pull on all six cables, thus tugging the light system upwards. All right, so we just put these things in here. Uh, do one on both sides. As you saw before, we pulled them out earlier. These are going to be in here temporary, so we can set the light rack on top of it. It'll give us a good level surface to adjust our cables on, and then once we get it all set up, we'll remove them. In the meantime, stay tuned for the next part. For the next part, we're going to tear apart the light rack, and we're going to move it back in and start getting it set up. Hope you're enjoying. My name's Jim Stein. I'm with MyFishTank.com. I'd like to take and show you the advantages of a Clear for Life acrylic aquarium. It's much lighter. One person can lift this 90 gallon aquarium. It's going to take at least two people to lift this glass tank.
Reef Hobbyist Magazine believes that our hobby, our fellow hobbyists, and the animals in our care are best served by the free distribution of quality information. Reef Hobbyist Magazine provides hobbyists with critical husbandry information with an emphasis on marine ornamental breeding efforts. Reef Hobbyist Magazine is available for free in local fish stores across the country, or you can subscribe at www.reefhobbyistmagazine.com. Welcome back to another part of uh, LED retrofit. Uh, next thing we got to do is tear the light rack apart so we can get it back in. First thing to do is to remove some of the extra support that I added here. The additional support that Scott's referring to is that aluminum L bracket that had to be added to the light rack as the result of realizing that all four LED enclosures hanging from that system, in addition to those slick little plastic connectors or separators, caused the rack to bow a little bit. So we've added this L bracket on here to stiffen up the rack, but to get it inside the light hood, we need to go ahead and remove that L bracket first. All right, so uh, now we're gonna take this thing apart. I've uh, actually kind of machined these plastic things down a little bit so that it's not so tight, so it'll come apart fairly easily. The plastic pieces are inserts, almost like a tongue and groove type arrangement. They allow for this aluminum arrangement to be modularly assembled and disassembled. As with all the other stuff we're putting in that light area above the tank, this has to be disassembled to fit through the openings. Got myself a little nervous there. These small two-wheel rollers, which currently inhibit us from putting the actual aluminum rack into the canopy, will ultimately be used to help guide the light rack up and down as those two wheels will roll in a track mounted to the inside ends of the cabinet area. And with those small rollers removed, we can now not only lift the first, but go ahead and lift the second half of that new aluminum LED light rack into the cabinet area above the top of the tank. And as you can see, we've got the two larger halves plus the assemblages that connect those two halves creating one entire light aluminum rack. All right, got our trusty hammer, some straps, which I may or may not need to use. Here in case I need them. So, let's start assembling Johnny Five. And just as the light rack, or as Scott jokingly refers to it as Johnny Five, came disassembled outside, we're gonna use the hammer to tap it back together creating one large three-section aluminum light hood. Keep in mind that in addition to assembling all three sections, we've also got those two angled L brackets that we need to add to stiffen up the lighting system to make sure that it's strong enough to support all of those four LED enclosures. Well, I just encountered my first problem. It's a minor one, but I had to add an extra little bracket in here so I had a place to mount the additional winch cable. Uh, what I failed to remember was that I also have a plate that goes in here that my LEDs are going to mount to. And you see I've got rivets here. These rivets actually stick up, and what's going to end up happening is the metal plate is just going to have to sit on top of them. It's really not a big deal. Just uh, 
something is I've been modifying things I didn't really take into account. And make it a point to come on back for part five of LA Fish Guys episode 99 to see if that rivet requires Scott to redo the entire lighting system. Yeah.